Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Golden Mind BA series. It's your boy Reg Dollar. In this episode, we are in for a treat as we get to witness the start of something special. What scouts are to believe as potentially the greatest draft class of all time and for sure the most hype one yet. This is the most propped up prospect game that we've seen and for sure a very important one and due to the deep talent pool of the league already and the hype of this deep class, the NBA found it necessary to finally expand the league by not just one or two teams, but six, which is nuts. It's a testament to the belief in these young prospects that this class will change the league forever in which this game is marked as a start of the golden era. The greatest collection of young talent performing in the brightest of lights at the garden and the hoop summit. Enough of all the talk, cause it's time to see who really built for the hype. Leave a like and subscribe because it's showtime. It's time for tip off and on the USA squad, we got the five Max. And then on the other side, you got the two Davis twins, Jeremy Goodson. Devontae Tucker and Khalif Kingston. So much talent, potential future all-stars. I see a couple superstars. No, I'm gonna lie if you feel me, but we right in, into the action right here. Great defensive play by Devontae Tucker. And now Mo Davis starting it off, lighting it up with the first three bomb of the game. Rich Mack with the rebound. And Austin Mack is already cold to start off the game. Not a good sign for him, but he's calling the screen from Troy Mack. And he passes it to Rich Mack. And Rich Mack goes off the dribble. And he throws it down with a monster slam to start it off. Rich Mack is the most coveted prospect in this class. And he's a monster, a force, a beast, freakzilla. And Mo Davis popping off another three. Hand down, man down. Mo Davis could shoot it and hit it all night just like that if you leave him like that. Instant bucket getter. And he could do it all. And Austin Mack with the ball. It gets a monster screen by Rich Mack. He finds the big fella and he throws it down to start off the game. And now Mo Davis wide open at the top of the key. Doesn't make him pay. But Troy Mack with the rebound. And he is a grab and, grow, grab and go threat. As you can see right there. Again, a layup taking it coast to coast. Nobody stopping him. No type of resistance at all. But Carlton Davis handling a rock right here. He finds Jeremy Goodson on the wing. And he cashes out from downtown. Jeremy is one of the most athletic wings that we got in this class. If he could hit down jump shots consistently, he could be a top five pick. But Jabari Mack in the corner, 6'11 sniper, cashing out from downtown in the corner. And Rich Mack at the elbow finds Austin. Austin trying to drive. Great defense right there. Reggie Mack with the pump fake. Defended by Mo Davis. These two have a lot of history together. And Reggie Mack blows right past him and designates right over the top of Devontae Tucker with the monster Tomahawk slam. And now Reggie Mack driving baseline. That's great defense right here. Sizing him up. Mo Davis defending him. Goes baseline. Goes right at him. And he lays him. Sometimes I don't know how you stop this brother Reggie Mack from getting to the spots that he wants. He is long with a quick first step. And now Mo Davis hand on a rock against his Kentucky teammate. And he swings at a Joe Banks this time, popping out. He's not really known for the three, but he's known for everything else. I think he's a well-rounded, all-around player. And now they find a hometown kid, J.J. King, at the elbow. And he goes to work, just bruising his way through the defense and finishing with the left hand. J.J. King is staying in his home state and going to St. John's. We'll see how that turns out for him. And now Joe Banks again with the second three of the game for him. That's a good sign. I know hella scouts in attendance, and that's one thing that they wanted to see from him. How good is his shooting? And this time, Jalen Honeycutt, the guard out of Gonzaga, navigating his way into the paint and showing off his little bit of crap. Known for his shooting. And speaking about shooting, Mo Davis misses that three right there. He, he got me. He fooled me. But the best shooter in the class is hands down Danny Tyler. Could light it up. One of the best shooting prospects I think we've seen ever brother stay with that thing on him locked and loaded and speaking about locked and loaded another trade ball again and now Devin Brown sophomore out of Providence one of the best returners and he attacks right at Danny Tyler goes right at him using his size to his advantage on that play in the closing seconds of the first quarter they find Clay Hooper from downtown and he knocks it down at the buzzer we're in the second quarter of action team world is up by two and now Danny Tyler dancing a little bit, pulling up, walking down, bow, right in the face of Reggie Mack from downtown from three. Elite pull-up shooter, Danny Tyler. I'm telling you, the best shooting prospect. And Rich Mack taking advantage of the mismatch. And I'm curious to see if there's going to be anybody in the league when he gets there that's going to be able to stop him. A physical specimen. 
Rich Mack, and Danny Tyler stepping back right in the face of Devin Brown in the corner from three. Not a lot of wiggle room to go in the corner, but still stepping back and knocking down that shot. That's just the confidence he has in this game. They swing it around the perimeter. Ball in the hands of Joe Banks. Shot clock winding down, and he gets the and one over Rich Mack. Not many people in the world could say that. Getting an and one on Rich Mack, especially like that. A lot of contact on him and finishing through that. And now Rich Mack has the ball in the post, and he does a turnaround jump shot. Showing off the touch. Go ahead. I know the scouts is drooling over that right now. The early favorite to go number one is Rich Mack, and he's showing off why. And now Reggie Mack finds Austin Mack in the corner for three. He had a layup, but he missed a read right there. And now Danny Tyler taking a wild shot. Great contest by Troy Mack. Rebounded by Rich. They swing it up to Jabari Mack in transition. He attacks the baseline and finishes. Showing great extension and showing off his length. Finishing around Khalif Kingston in the paint. And now another transition throwout dribble by Reggie Mack. And he goes baseline and does a reverse slam. Paying homage to the late, great Kobe Bryant. Oh, that man. Moving on, bad shot by Austin Mack. And now Jeremy Goodson looking to run out in transition. Ari hit a three in the game, attacks the basket, and gets the and one over Jabari Mack and expressing himself after getting that and one. Jeremy Goodson, relentless, passionate, explosive, and a bucket getter. That's a few things to describe his game. But a great breakup of alley -oop right here. And now Jeremy Goodson in transition. Finds a great kickout pass to Scott Kane, another lethal shooter in the class that's heading to Gonzaga. And a bad pass right here from Carlton Davis, stoned away by Reggie Mack. Scott Kane trying to take a charge, but Reggie Mack throws it down, has an appointment with the rim, and cranks it with a monster slam. And now Pierre Duvall off the bench, throwing a dime to Kyle Beecham, and he throws down a tomahawk slam. Kyle Beecham heading to Duke to partner up with Reggie Mack. And now Mo Davis, hand on the rock, gets the screen by Devontae Tucker and goes right at Troy Mack and finishes over the defensive-minded Troy Mack. And now Devin Brown, hand on the rock, gets the screen from J.J. King and pulls up and knocks down a three. Made some pay for playing drop coverage and not stepping up on that one. And now Pierre Duvall, hand on the rock, shot clock winding down and is blocked away by Trent Beretta. And now Jalen Honeycutt has the ball, stops at the three-point line. Oh, my God, you see the pace? Oh, my God. Finishing with the finger roll, too. Pace was wicked on that one. Could have pulled up from transition, playing at his own pace, knowing how to change speeds at the right time and at the right moment. And now Dario Dijakovic going to work on Clay Hooper and getting an and one to go. Finishing with this offhand. Dario, he can make people pay in the post. Great post game. Reminds me a little bit of Pau Gasol. But Pau Gasol wasn't doing this. Taking it off the dribble, showing off his skill at 7-1 and hitting up a pull-up jump shot. And now Trent Beretta comes off the screen. Another unicorn right here, knocking down the three. There's so much talent in this class. It's really insane. Really insane right now. And Mo Davis, he's been hooping this game, and he's looking for an ISO. He has 15 points. The team leading scorer, the king of New York, straight out the Bronx. It's his show right now. Crossover, barbecue, chicken, alert, and one. Mo Davis, Mo Buckets. He the next team act, man. Smooth, 6'8", wing. Old Davis is a special prospect, and I can't wait to see what he does at Kentucky. At halftime, 18 in the game. He is a future star, and on the other side, Reggie Mack with 10. But USA is up by two, and a missed three right here to start off the second half by Jeremy Goodson. And now a run out in transition. Reggie Mack with the showtime play in the garden, and arguably the, player of, the play of the game right now with the windmill slant. And now Carlton Davis pulling up out of the pick and roll and knocking down the mid-range shot to tie up the game. And now Austin Mack bringing up the ball and they're looking to get into the paint. Step back in the corner. That is a horrific shot. I don't know how he made that, but he better not shoot that again. I'm not going to lie. It's all knotted up at 64. Troy Mack handling the rock right now. Swings it to Austin Mack coming off the screen and the jump shot just looks beautiful. He shoot it with swag. Letting it fly from the top of the key, right in the face of the defender. And a great pass to Rich Mack, throwing down another monstrous slam. Carlson Davis now hand on the rock against Austin Mack. Goes behind the back. Hey! Nice little finger roll layup right there off a of Euro step going baseline. And now Jeremy Goodson calling for the screen and pulls up in the mid-range is money. 
a lot of people like to compare him to like the old time type of guys. If he played in like the 2000s and 90s and 80s, he would be perfect for that era in the mid range era, the ISO ball era. But Jeremy Gusson, he could play in any of it. Three point shot by Reggie Mack. And now Reggie Mack feeds the post, almost stolen away, but Rich Mack throws down another monster slam. And now a handoff to Devin Brown. They lob it up to Troy Mack, who is one of the best lob threats who's going to be playing at Houston. You got to be a dog to go to Houston. You know Kelvin Sampson don't play. Troy Mack is a great defensive player. He's going to be great in that system. In the corner, three by Kyle Beecham, the point guard, 6'8". And now Devin Brown this time knocking down the three on the wing. It's an eight-point lead. He's having a great game off the bench. Like I said, one of the best returning guys. And now Joe Banks goes behind the back and goes baseline and finishes with the monster reverse slam and swinging, swinging on the rim after that one. And now Danny Tyler, he got wiggled to him. Step back. Oh, bow. <laughs> At the buzzer, Danny Tyler making him pay right there. I'm telling you, special generational shooting prospect. And Reggie Mack read that one like a book. And you know what time it is. Showtime and no sir, but yes sir. Doesn't get the dunk, but gets the and one. And look at the mean mug looking like a dog. Look, mean mugging like when Kobe did in a dunk contest. Yes sir. I'm telling you, paying homage to his his favorite player, Kobe Bean Bryant, and a step back by Jabari Mack. Did y'all see the separation on that one? Whew. At 6'11". The separation like that. And, like, who was even contesting that shot to begin with at 6'11"? It's tough to, to begin with. Ah, oh, man. Jabari Mack is a special prospect. Special prospect. And now a great give and go by Rich Mack to Reggie Mack, the two twin brothers, and arguably the two best in their class. And now a double screen, Jabari Mack at the free throw line. Rodgers over the top. Blinders, as you can see. That's definitely what he has. 6'11". Doesn't see anybody really next to him. 6'11", shot creator like that. He's going to be special at the next level. And Danny Tyler coming off his screen. And that's a mistake right there. Left unguarded, and he knocks down the three to keep them within single digits. But Austin Mack looking like an and one mixtape. And find it, Jabari Mack in the corner from three. Jabari put on, on a shooting clink right now. And I don't know who the hell not down court. Khalif Kingston gets the dunk right there and dunks it right over the top of Rich Mack. And now Austin Mack gets the screen by Troy Mack, lobs it up, and he throws it down with the reverse slam. Looks like the momentum is all on the USA. Rebounded by Rich Mack. Reggie Mack looking like a one-man fast break with the leg. Smooth. Smooth operator, Reggie Mack. And now he's picking up at half court. Mo Davis goes behind the back, but he says, give me that. You don't really want that. You don't really want that. It's showtime. Reggie Mack with another monstrous slam. And I'm telling you, this is the, he's the one. He is the one. He might be the one that can contend with Rich Mack for that number one spot. Those two. And y'all see the go-go gadget arms by Troy Mack playing the passing lanes and throwing it down. And they started to take over. They started to take over. Behind the back, Austin Mack. Oh, my gosh. Sham got me. And he passes it to Rich Mack, and he throws it down right over the top of Devontae Tucker. This got to be a game-breaker right here. They're starting to dominate and pour it on the Team World squad. Mo Davis, hand on the rock, gets the screen, and FaceTime. I don't even know if I did the noise right, but we're going to rock with it. And now Mo Davis trying to force the issue on Troy Mack, and he tries to go at the two Twin Towers, and Rich Mack says, no, sir. Now Reggie Mack in transition, and he throws it down right over the top of Devontae Tucker and stares right in the face of Mo Davis. He is built for this. And, oh, my God, Rich Mack almost killed Joe Banks on that one. But Rich, Reggie Mack is really built for this, and I think this class is built for this. We've seen so much talent on display in this game. It's nuts. It's nuts. Now they find Rich Mack in the post. They're starting to try to send a double team, but it doesn't matter. Goes right over the top of Cleve Kingston. That's 20 and 11. Calm game for him. Jalen Honeycutt to add insult to injury from downtown. Bow! To put them back up by 20. That would do it for the Hoop Summit. The USA squad pulled away in the fourth quarter. That was a great game. Great game. Showcase of the future stars. Reggie Mack star of them all throwing down monster slams 
Nah, this brother was flying. He was wilding. <laughs> we just gotta look. We gotta look back on this. Like, damn, he was really wilding with the dunks that he was doing. Wow, the prospects. I mean, not the prospects. The scouts. Twenty six in a game. We gotta see the highlights. Oh my god, get that out of here. We already seen Reggie Mac. So let's go to Rich Mac highlights. We just gotta reminisce. Reminisce on what just happened. What did we just witness? What did we just witness? A generational 7-3, about 325 pound big. Going to Georgetown. Dominate 20 points, 12 rebounds, and four blocks. Special. 6-11 small forward heading to UCLA. Pull up mid bucket. I'm, uh, I just hate the rebounding highlights. One thing I hate. Great cutter right here. With Jabari Max step back, what I was talking about, that separation that he created, going baseline, finishing over the trees with the lay. Another rebound for you. Another rebound for you, Laywood. You would think this is the greatest rebounder of all time, like the clips they be showing. Really show all your rebounds, but not all your buckets. Like, what's going on, 2K? Devin Brown, though. He was a good surprise guy. Kind of. Nobody's really talking about him because you got all the, like, the incoming freshmen and stuff. One of the best returning guys. 15 points in 19 minutes. Troy Mack. 13 and 15 active on the glass all night and just a great defensive player he's going to be special in kelvin sanson's system and not to mention Khalif kingston on the other side that was playing for team world is going to be playing with troy mack so if you want to see the results of the college hoops thing you know you can go back to my old videos and you feel me catch up on that trent beretta 7-1 another unicorn guy this is chat before chat I made Trent Brother in like since like 2K12, and he was kind of playing just how like Chet really be playing. But you see that block right there? The length is crazy. Scary upside, scary upside. Jalen Honeycutt, he's gonna help out a team right away with this shooting. One of the best shooters in college basketball at Gonzaga, and Gonzaga is in the Pac-10 now, Pac-12. Got to see how that plays out. And Austin Mack, he's just electric. I feel like he had a he had a calm night. Calm night for him. You see that three? He, his shot making is really just ridiculous. The handles, he has the best handles in the class by far. Best handles I've probably seen since Kyrie Irving in high school. That high praise for him. But let's take a look at the highlights on the other side. Oh, before we get into that, you know, Reggie Mack, 11 points in the fourth quarter. They was balling. They was balling in that fourth quarter. But let's take a look. let's take a look at Maurice Davis highlights. Going to Kentucky. The kid from the Bronx. Oh, you got to show rebound the clinics. Oh, he's a he's a shooter. He is a special shooting prospect. That's also 6'8. Great athleticism. Could create his own shot. One of the best three-level scorers, if not the best three-level scorer in this class, has to offer. And then we got this guy, the best shooter in the class, Danny Tyler. Without a doubt. Can't leave him open. Can shoot it off the dribble. Even take it to the basket and finish. Had 23 in the game. Jeremy Goodson, one of the best athletes in the class. And a relentless scorer. Takes it to the basket off two feet. Finishing on that one. Got the mid-range game on lock. You know... If you want to be the guy on the championship team, you got to have at least you got to have it on three levels, especially on the mid range. Especially on the mid range. If you a go to guy and you got a mid range game in the playoffs, <coughs> Harden, you feel me? You know, just look, just look back on it. That's all I gotta say. Joe Banks doing his thing as well. The league is in good hands. The league is in good hands. The golden era has just begun. That was a great start with that showcase. On to the team stats. The thing that jumped out the biggest to me was Team World hit 18 threes, 43%, and hit eight more free throws. So how they ain't win the game? Look at the points in the paint. 76 to 28. That is nuts. Straight buffet out the room. All you could eat. That'll do it for this episode of the Golden My NBA series. And to finish this off, you can appreciate the great pitches that we had in this game. This iconic Golden Hoop Summit. It's your boy Reg Dollar. As always, stay safe and be goaded. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.